Good evening. <laughs> Are we live? I think we're live. Okay, let me just refresh my own music page and then we will get going with some concert. Thank you for joining me. I think we're live. I think you can hear me. I'm not sure. If you can, drop a comment and let me know. I can't even see it from that far away, but I see bubbles happening. Um, wow. Strange times we are living in. Um, and strange things we're doing, like playing a concert to people all over the world, and yet I am by myself. So, I'm not totally by myself. I do have um, wine and a kazoo to keep me company and um, all of you out there. So make sure you have the essentials in a pandemic, um, which is, aside from toilet paper, these two things. So go ahead, grab a glass. Uh, tell me what you're drinking. What are you drinking right now? Um, see, I have multiple screens going on, so we're gonna give people a chance to uh, to join us here, live in my basement um, in Philadelphia. <laughs> yes, it's happening. This is very exciting. All right, it's great to see all of you. Hey, Jake. Oh, Seth and Beth. Hi. Lisa, how are you? Hot tea. Good. Can I say some grated ginger in that hot tea is also really good. I hope you're feeling well. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. You know, we'll, uh, I think people are still finding their way around the internet. I know I had to do that, but we're going to start off with some music and whenever they catch up, they'll catch up. Cheers. Good morning or evening, friends. Here's your friendly announcer. I have some serious news to pass on to everybody. What I'm about to say could spell the world's disaster, could change your joy. Because hate's going round, breaking me. 
Are we off and running? Amazing. Amazing. Cheers, everybody. Hey, Jason. This is great. So fun. Um, <laughs> this is my first ever um, Facebook Live. Um, I am afraid of technology. So this is, um, well, that's a big reason why I've never done it before, but um, these are the times we're living in. And uh, I'm so glad you could join me. I surmounted my fears. I'm pressing buttons. I'm using social media. It's very exciting for me. That's why I have all of this wine. There's another bottle behind the camera. Don't worry, I hope you have some too. Um, where are you tuning in from? Tell me. All over the world? I don't know, I wanna know where you are, uh, what you're eating, who you're eating it with. Mostly the food, just tell me about the food. Thanks, Beth. So I want to um, explain a little bit about what you see in the, um, in the caption of the video. And you've probably seen a lot of this going on now, um, musicians that are out of work. And um, one of the very sad things and upsetting things that's happening, and there are plenty of upsetting things happening. And just one that we could tack onto that list is that something that I love to do, which is performing for people, and connecting with people live <laughs> in a room, it's just something that's not possible. And um, over the past few weeks, I've seen my gigs and my jobs um, just evaporate um, over the course of a few weeks, and now starting to get messages from all the summer music festivals that are canceling or postponing. And um, none of us are really sure how long this is gonna go on, and there are a lot of people um, hurting right now. But it's amazing that this is one way that we get to keep doing what we love doing and keep connecting with people. And um, so if you are enjoying the music at any point, um, imagine instead of the price of a concert ticket, you just click on one of those things up there. There's a PayPal link, there is a Venmo link, and there's a Cash App link, in case you're not using the other payment apps anymore. And um, could throw some uh, Bitcoin my way into my digital fishbowl. Um, don't send me any Bitcoin because I don't know what that is. But like, you know, money is fine. And um, with that, I'm gonna play some more music. That last one was a Stevie Wonder tune and I'm gonna play some originals for you. And um, I know that we are, uh, <laughs> we're all going through it, right? Wherever you are in the world, um, no matter at what point, at what part of this epidemic you are experiencing right now, um, it's great that we can all be together. I'm glad you joined me, whether you are uh, watching with your family or watching me to escape your family or watching me to escape the world or um, watching me to feel connected with the world. I'm really glad that you're here. Here's a song of mine, um, speaking of connectivity, that I wrote and recorded with some friends of mine uh, via satellite. They were in Brazil, and I was at home here in Philadelphia, and we recorded this song, and I hope as you listen to it, it uh, makes you think of um, somewhere, anywhere, that you'd really like to be right now. And I hope it takes you there.
Sky. We're going to keep it moving right along with the music right after this. <laughs> that was it. That was a word from my sponsor, and my sponsor is wine. So I jot it down, kind of 
is really far away but I just see like all these things exploding and um, so that's kind of fun as I said I'm afraid of technology so I'm, I'm just hoping my phone doesn't spontaneously like I don't know, burst into flames for some reason but we're getting through it together all right so I'm playing um, a lot of songs off of my album something new and um, that last one was on there if you're enjoying the music and you don't uh, own my music. You can go find it on um, Bandcamp. There are some digital downloads you can find and also on my website um, and all the streaming services as well. But like this is a great time to buy music from artists. So do that instead. Let's see. Uh, this next song is the first track on that album. Um, it's called New Year. And you know, as a songwriter, very often when we write songs, um, or at least when I write songs, sometimes I don't know what I'm even writing about when I write it. Um, this song has taken on lots of different meanings over the years. And as we're going through, um, we're all experiencing this um, pandemic together, right? We're quarantining, we're sheltering in place, we are social distancing. Um, I think we're getting a really hard look at um, how, we, how we run things, how we take care of each other, um, how our systems work, how our systems don't work, um, sometimes how we fail each other. And um, it's a very scary time, but in these times uh, when there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of scariness, um, it's also a great time to recognize that there are some new beginnings that maybe we can um, start to realize, start to move forward with. Um, when we see things around us failing, maybe it's just time to reimagine um, what they could be. So this song was written with the idea of New Year's being a, a time of renewal, a time to start something new, to start again, to make resolutions. And the whole point of that is um, that January 1st is just an arbitrary day. And really any day can be the start of a new beginning of a new year.
Okay, that was New Year. We still there? We still live? Okay, I see bubbles happen. Cool. <laughs> this is a um, strange thing to be playing a concert to everyone and, uh, and no one at the same time. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm going to play. Um, I'm going to play a song that I did not write. But I hope it makes you feel good. Sometimes uh, songs take us to a different place. They bring us different memories. And I'm sure a lot of people have memories of where they were, maybe when they heard this this song for the first time, or um, where, where it just brings them back to a certain um, place or just brings up a mood. It certainly does for me. And um, here it is.
I'm still in love with you. I'm seeing you dance again. Yeah, I'm still in love with you. On this heart. Thank you so much. Okay, here's a fun one. <clears throat> I guess I should say before I go into that, um, you know, as I'm a songwriter, uh, as I'm a songwriter during these times, you know, I get a lot of ideas for like parodies and, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, turning songs on their head and um, it just doesn't, didn't seem right to write like a full parody. So I just got like a couple ideas. Um, that was one of them. Uh, but I feel like doing the full song would just be a little too much. Like just not not appropriate, but like a little bit. Is it like um like this one? <clears throat> then we'll just keep doing them more. Because um, I only have so many, uh, you know, um, Trader Joe's frozen Indian dinners, which are delicious. Um, and, uh, you know, so that's kind of entertaining me. Um, other than that, yeah, tell me what you're eating during your quarantine. Um, tell me where you are and who you're with. Drop me a comment right here. Um, so after I play this last song, um, this is all going to be available and live, so feel free to share it. I'm going to post it around as well, so if you missed any of the concert, you can see it again. Um, also, oh my god, there's so many things you could do. So here's where you could, like, after the video is posted, you can pause it after each one and just, like, check them off the list, okay? So you're going to go to uh, follow wherever on this screen it says to, like, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. Um, Instagram, Twitter subscribe to the YouTube, smash that button, smash that subscribe. Um, you can also, there are some links up there to drop me some, uh, some coin. If you enjoyed this show and you wanna see more of them, um, financial encouragement is always appreciated, but not necessary. So Venmo, there's Cash App, there's PayPal, and it's really easy to find in the caption of this video. Um, go to my website and sign up for my mailing list because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of projects um, with music. There, I have a lot of stuff to announce, a lot of stuff I want to work on, and a lot of exciting um, stuff that I want to give to you and um, share with you. So sign up for the mailing list 
and um, we can stay in touch and we can keep making music together even if we're not in the same room um, hopefully you guys are enjoying and singing along and uh, drinking whatever you're drinking Thank you. I just see the comments coming, but I have no idea what they say. So afterwards, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and read all of the comments. So uh, leave me something funny and inappropriate. That's, that's fine. Something to look forward to. All right, I got one more for you. I did mention that I brought a kazoo, so I don't know if you have your kazoo at home with you, but now is your time to pull it out because we're gonna use them. Yeah. You guys, this is fun. Isn't this fun? It's fun. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, back to this rabbit 
Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Be well, be safe, wash your hands. I'll see you again soon.